from Thanksgiving to giving back, the holidays are a great time to volunteer. Jesse Case, the program director at Hands On San Diego, joining us to share how you can make a difference all year long. It's so good to work this in during the holidays. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, tell us a little bit about this um, volunteer opportunities. Everybody wants to do it. Sometimes it's hard to find the right one. Yeah, um, we try and bring everything into one place to make it really easy for people to find um, the needs going on in our community. We have over 100 nonprofit partners that we have on our calendar and you can filter by where you live, uh, your uh, interests and um, your age, all sorts of things to really find something that works for your schedule. I've always wanted to do something with the kids and it's, oh, yeah. it's usually challenging because it's like, oh, it's for the adults and the kids can't come, but you're able to come and find it with you guys. Right. Uh, we have a specific filter for the age of your children Good. so you can find what's right for a 13 year old versus like a 16 year old. We're just a few days away from Thanksgiving. Is it too late to find that opportunity? Maybe people want to go out and help in the morning and then, you know, do their Thanksgiving dinner at night. Yeah. Um, um, uh, your, your opportunities are slimmer okay. at this point in the week, um, but there are um, your best bet would be with a turkey trot run. They're, they're happening all throughout the county, and they always need volunteers to help those run smoothly. They're happening in downtown Oceanside, Encinitas, so um, I recommend looking for a turkey trot run if you're wanting to volunteer the day of Thanksgiving. I know when I volunteered, there's this feeling that just comes up and it just makes you feel good to be able to help others. What are some other um, things that you get out when you can put your time in to be able to help people? Yeah, there's so many. Um, uh, you're making new friends. We have a lot of people that um, just keep coming back because of the community they built mm -hmm. at these projects. Uh, learning new skills. Um, there's a improved uh, mental health and even physical health. Holiday season right behind it. It's like jam, 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 jam all yep. the way through the year. I, it says here that we have video. I'd love to be able to see some of this happening here. Okay, this is what it is? Like, oh, this is where they go in, in Santa Rita. What is this? Um, so that was at the San Diego Model uh, Railroad Museum. Um, they have a, a Polar Express event. So that oh. was like kind of um, tying in um, what they do with trains um, to the holiday season. Do you have to have any experience to do it or can you just come out and help? No, everything on our volunteer calendar, um, anyone can really jump into. Uh, we also have skilled volunteer opportunities on a separate um, part of our website. You have an event that's coming up? Uh, yeah, there's the um, Hope Toy Drive with mm -hmm. Hope Church in La Mesa. Um, it's gonna be on December 8th and um, the volunteers will be helping that event run smoothly um, by managing the crowds, directing traffic uh, and distributing toys. Okay, we're gonna get the information. So if there are ways that people want to be able to help, not just the holidays, but really throughout the year, uh, you can go to foxsidesandiego.com and click the scene on tap. Jesse, thank you so much and happy holidays to you. Thank you, happy holidays.